Hey there! In today's video, we're diving into the fascinating history of artificial intelligence. So, let's start from the beginning, the very beginning, the ancient beginning. Yes, humans have been dreaming of creating artificial beings or intelligent machines for a very long time. You can find examples of them in mythology, philosophy, and literature. For instance, there was the golem, a clay creature that could be animated by magic. Then there was the automata, mechanical devices that could perform complex tasks. And then there's Frankenstein, the OG of DIY life. But these were just fantasies and speculations. The real science of artificial intelligence began in the 20th century, in 1950s to be more specific, when Alan Turing, a super smart dude, came up with his Turing test. It's basically a way to check if a machine can think like us. Then, between 1952 and 1956, the whole idea of artificial intelligence started to pick up steam. John McCarthy was the guy who gave it that fancy name and even threw a big AI get-together at Dartmouth College in 1956. Around the same time, Alan Newell and Herbert Simon cooked up the first AI program, The Logic Theorist. This program was so cool, it could solve math problems, 38 out of 52 to be exact. Just a year later, in 1957, Frank Rosenblatt introduced the Perceptron. Think of it as an early version of a brain for machines. It got people excited about making machines learn from info, and the fun didn't stop there. By 1961, we had our first robot working the factory floor at General Motors. They called it Unimate. A robot for industry. And this is it, Unimate, a machine that can reach out to seven feet and perform a multitude of tasks in factory or laboratory as skillfully as a man, but without getting tired. Probably because Robo Factory Guy didn't roll off the tongue. Fast forward a few years, in 1965, Joseph Weizenbaum introduced Eliza, a program that mimicked a therapist. But just a few years later, in 1969, Marvin Minsky and Seymour Poppert's book, Perceptrons, pointed out some big issues with neural networks. This critique put a bit of a damper on their progress. The world was all abuzz in 1972 when London hosted the first international joint conference on artificial intelligence. AI was feeling a bit like Newton under the apple tree, destined for greatness. But by 1973, the Light Hill Report dropped, not an apple, but a cold bucket of reality, signaling the start of the first AI winter, where hopes like temperatures fell drastically. But the excitement around AI stayed strong, and by 1979, the Stanford cart was making headlines as the self-driving vehicle maneuvered a room filled with chairs. Then came the 80s, introducing expert systems, rule-based programs that got everyone talking about AI's potential. Unfortunately, by 1987, we entered the second AI winter as expert systems couldn't live up to the hype and symbolic AI showcased its limitations. But things got exciting in the 90s. In 1991, the US military used an AI tool called DART during the Gulf War. Fast forward to 1997 and IBM's deep blue computer beat the chess champ Garry Kasparov. The 2000s? Totally game-changing. In 2005, Stanford had this car named Stanley that drove itself and won a big race called the DARPA Grand Challenge. In 2009, Google dropped Google Translate, and by 2011, IBM's Watson computer was so smart, it won a game show called Jeopardy! Wild Times. 2012 was a milestone year. Google Brain's neural network learned to spot cats in YouTube videos. The same year, AlexNet aced the ImageNet challenge, proving that deep learning was a big deal. 2014, Google bought an AI company called DeepMind, soon after they made AlphaGo, a program that could beat top players in the game of Go. That year, Microsoft introduced Cortana and Amazon gave us Alexa through their Echo device. By 2016, OpenAI was founded, and soon after, their program, OpenAI 5, played video games at an elite level. Google Duplex started making phone calls for people, and by 2019, we had OpenAI's impressive GPT-2 and DeepMind's AlphaStar. 2020 was huge. DeepMind cracked the code on how proteins fold with their Alpha Fold 2, while OpenAI dropped the mic with GPT-3. And now, here we are, in 2023, with OpenAI releasing GPT-4, which is our best shot at AGI yet. And if you're curious about AGI and what's coming up next, check out my video AGI in 100 seconds. I bet you'll enjoy it. This is AI Girl signing off.